this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I just do a solid paint over the top of this bottle and then I'm going to just do some, I guess, distressing and do some uh, sanding over the top of it once the paint dries. And the reason I decided to do that because I think the writing on this bottle is really neat. I could, you know, could have used the back and painted that instead, but I wanted to just have this as a just a very simple piece of home decor. You can actually use it as just a bottle to sit up on a shelf or or you can actually stick some flowers, maybe some dried flowers or artificial flowers or even real flowers if you like to have those. You know, the top is a little small so you would only be able to fit, you know, a few, but it's still you know, it's service purpose. All right, I'm going to be using coffee latte, and this is a folk art multi surface paint. I'm also going to be using a 3 8, and this is a glass art by Dynasty Brush number 71. And I'll put a link below where you can purchase these. I love these when you're doing a solid paint. All right, so I'm just going to dip the brush in. I'm not going to be showing you this throughout the video because it's just that simple. And then you you just continue on painting. The one thing nice about these brushes, and I don't know if it's because the bristles are so soft, but they're so easy to get a real good base coat onto a product. You know, whether you're using the base coat to paint a design over the top of it, doesn't matter. Like I said, in this instance, I'm just using it to get a good base coat and then be able to sand it to give it a distressed look. And it's just, just that this easy. So... I said I'm not really trying to do a whole lot of design work with these brushes, although I know you can. I still like regular paint brushes for that, especially with the technique that I use. But I could see them being really good if you do like several different coats, you know, if you do a lot of layering in your painting instead of doing stroke work. Stop it. All right, again, just a very, very easy video, and that's the intent. Not anything that is a major, just see how nice and smooth that goes. Just nice and smooth coats. And I will do all around the bottle, but for the sake of, of this part of the video, I'm just doing the front, since I'm gonna use my little, little spinner here to do the rest without touching it. But I just wanted to show you how nice and smoothly this paint goes on with these brushes. If you were to use a different brush type, it's very possible you would find yourself doing a couple coats. Whereas with this, that's it, very easy. All right, I will be back to finish it off with you. All right, so I finished coating this bottle and you can see how smooth it turned out. And then I baked it. So now I'm gonna go over and have a sanding block. Now this sanding block has, uh, has uh, been through a lot, but I'm just going to go through and kind of sand off some of the writing. You don't want something that's too harsh. because you don't want it to be, to take all your paint off. But when you have little bumps and you know, like the lettering and that kind of thing, it makes it a little bit easier to scrape it off. If you feel like you're not getting enough of it off, then go to a little bit higher sandpaper or lower sandpaper. The higher the number, the softer it is or the smoother. I don't know how to describe it, but I would, on this one, I'm going to do all the way around it. And you can even do some on the base. Now this, because it's so worn, 
probably won't do justice. Probably does better really on these areas that are have little cre creases or you might need to go into harsher if you want to get more of it off. But I like it. I think it's cute. Again, you could just, what I'll do too when I'm done is go over it with some of my, uh, I like to use the Mod Podge dishwasher safe gloss for my glassware. But I'll probably get some, maybe a little bit, uh, maybe a 200 grit paper and go over it a little more just to give it some distressness in the base of it because this is so smooth that it's not going to really do a whole lot. It'll do like around the edges and stuff that actually have some kind of, uh, I don't even know what, that, what to say here, some kind of part that jumps out a little bit or around the bottom kind of thing. Well, that's cute. I can see that sitting up on a shelf, maybe even with some dried flowers in it or I think I still have the lid to this. I could put the lid back on and continue. I think it's cute. Well, I hope you like this very simple, quick video. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. And before you leave, please share this on your social network with all your family and friends. Just hit the share button that you'll find underneath this video. If you want to make any comments or have any questions, please put those down below the video. And until the next time, please stay safe and healthy. And thanks so much for stopping by. You have a good one.